Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to do a two camera setup for streaming. I thought that's basically a very simple thing, not even worth a tutorial, but then on the other hand I thought, why not? Tutorials don't have to be long, they can be easy, so here we are. I will be using OBS Studio to show that. So we launch it right up. And I have two webcams connected to my computer. Let me make that a little bit bigger. I'll just let's do full screen. So that's OBS Studio. I have another video explaining how to do streaming with OBS. So I will put a link in the description below. What we do now is we now will add the webcams. And here we go to sources down here, add a plus here and say we need a video capture device. So now we create a new one. And one thing I have connected here is my HTC Vive. So we use this one. And exactly this is the one. So the fish eye camera on the HTC Vive with a nice view of my shelf is here selected. And that's basically fine. There are some settings you can play around with, but that's what we will use. And you see here in the scene, it's already added here on the top left, but I want to have this to be the main picture. So yeah, let's just put it there, make it full size somehow in the middle. It's not looking nice, but for our purposes now, it should be good enough. I also don't really have the best light and you might see quite a, some flickering here. So I hope you're fine. Maybe I have to put a warning there in, in the description. Um, might be coming from my LED lights, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't look that bad on YouTube, we will see. Uh, anyway, so that's the first camera and we can just add a second one, another video capture device. And that's just my good old webcam. In this case, very old, so don't expect good quality. Um, but my other webcam broke. So we will select here my good old Microsoft Live Cam. And here it is, showing Scratch. That's fine too. Scratch is not really in the picture, so uh, what I can do now, I can position this one wherever I want, and I can make it also a little bit smaller or bigger. And since Scratch is not in the picture anyway, I will just put him somewhere here. You can move this around all the time while you stream. It will not break or should not break the stream. OBS should be fine to handle that. So when you decide, okay, it's now in the way here and you need it somewhere else, you just take it and put it wherever you want it. And one more other important thing is when you have multiple webcams, or in my case, uh, also a microphone connected. So I want to use the microphone for capturing the audio for my stream. I don't want to have additional audio coming from the other sources. So I turn off the microphone of the HTC Vive. I turn off the webcam microphone. That's important because otherwise you would get all this audio into this stream and it wouldn't sound very nice, I guess, for your viewers. And also desktop audio in this case I will disable because I'm not interested to get any Windows sounds uh, played from the computer while I do my stream here. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, what you can also do is you can then save your profile. You can just go hit the profile, give it a name, and that's the two camera setup, for example. And then you have it available here in your profile selection for the next time. Uh, you can also make multiple scenes, but I don't want to go into too much how OBS works. So, but basically you can now in your profile have several scenes. You can switch in between when you maybe want to do different configurations here during one stream and want to prepare them in advance. Hope this helps you in your streaming activities. Thanks a lot for watching. Ciao.